I think we all want to know what kind of Robin will, will this be and how he will be different from all the previous ones. What okay. is your vision here? Okay. What um, will amaze us? That is a tough question. <laughs> no, no, it's a good question. Um, I'll be really honest. When um, when this film was first um, offered to me, I was I turned it down immediately. I was like, the world does not need another Robin Hood film. You know, we've had enough. Um, but then when I started to look into it and started to investigate and um, what this film could be, then I started to get very, very excited. Because for me, the point of making a film is so that it reflects something back to humanity and back to where society and back to what's going on at the moment. So that there is a purpose to the film rather than it just being pure entertainment. Obviously we want it to be entertaining as well. But, um, and I started to look into Robin Hood and I started to sort of find out more about this character and about this legend. And the more I looked into him, the more I realized that this story is as relevant today as it's ever been. And, you know, in the last two years since I've been involved in the movie, the film just every day seems to become more and more important, you know, about what it is. Um, this is going to be a big swashbuckling piece of entertainment, but there is also a real subtext to the movie. It says a lot about government, it says a lot about corruption, it says a lot about the power of the individual to bring change to society. It says a lot about the 99% being ruled by the 1% and that if any of us, any single one of us, any normal man has the strength and the courage to stand up against what they know to not be the truth and to fight for the truth, then real change can happen. And that is the strong message of Robin Hood um, and is going to be an even stronger message of my Robin Hood. <laughs> well done. Let's take a question for the four people in the back who probably can't see. Is there a question from our... Do you want to stand up and ask a question? All the shy people stood in the back. <laughs> Anyone else? Here we go. Here's the question. From Nova TV. Uh, of course, everybody are very interested in actors. And uh, is there any chance we can see them, talk to them in these few days? And, uh, I'm sure. I mean, I, you know, I mean, they're they're around. They're all they're all lovely people. They're all big big fans of of, of the movie and will want to do support the movie. And I'm sure they've been here for one day or they've only been, they've been here for one day. And I'm sure they're already massive fans of the city. You know, so um, yeah. Um, so you are everybody here or you are waiting? We have. I don't know who's here exactly. Um, we have over the two weeks. I think everybody is coming you know we only obviously you know they only come in to do the scenes that they're in um robin hood is in most of the scenes so he'll be here um taron edgerton <laughs> <laughs> and ja for sure. ja jamie fox who's playing um uh, little john he's here for sure um eve houston who's playing maid marion is here um jamie dornan who's playing will scarlet is here um tim minchin who's playing friar tuck is here um, and is Paul Anderson coming? Yes. And Paul Anderson, who's playing Gisborne, um, is going to be here as well. And then um, a amazing Italian actor called Antonio Bertorelli, who's playing the Cardinal, will also be here. So I've just answered the question. Yes, everybody will be here. <laughs> yes. And what about the famous Leonardo DiCaprio producer? Is, is any chance he will be He's here? pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't speak for um, Leonardo's diary, but um, you know, if he's going to come anywhere, it's going to be Dubrovnik because it's such a great place to come. So you know, <laughs> who knows? That might be your surprise. Thank you. Any other questions? Please speak uh, up. I have a question. Hello. Uh, here. <laughs> yeah, I can hear. I can see your hand. I can't see your hand. There you go. Uh, Misha Miller from Blue Week and Gina from Mr. Wolf and from Mr. Wolf. So, what's your budget for? Well, Lionsgate has a policy of not revealing the budgets, mm -hmm. but what I can tell you is that... Um, it's not enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's definitely not no. enough for Otto, but... <laughs> oh, oh. What, <laughs> but we're, 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 we're doing our best to serve Otto's vision and to do something special, and I think when the movie comes out on March 23rd, 2018, people are going to see how big and wonderful the movie is, because what we're doing is something incredibly special and the entire world will be discovering both Dubrovnik, Croatia, and the legend of Robin Hood. Uh, I, uh, I wonder, after the whole set you built on Stradon, how much of Dubrovnik will be seen in the movie, actually? 
Oh, I mean, the whole point of coming to Dubrovnik is is because, I mean, you know, it normally, like I said earlier, normally when you you know when you're making a period piece like this, and I spent three months looking all over England <laughs> trying to find a, a, a city, and that ju it just doesn't exist anymore. So what's so exciting about Dubrovnik is that I've been able, I've, I've invented whole new scenes, I've invented whole new shots, I've invented a scale way, way, way beyond what I imagined for exactly that reason, because you know, Dubrovnik, when you look anywhere, I mean, uh, sure, we have to take out some, you know, satellite dishes and some aerials and some air conditioning units, but we can do that, you know, <laughs> um, and some of the roofs are a little bit new, but, you know, generally, you know, the, 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 the percentage of what Dubrovnik gives us, uh, you know, give, you know, because, you know, we haven't got crazy money, we can't completely replace everything, and that's what's so exciting about here, you know, you are definitely, definitely, definitely going to know it's Dubrovnik, no question. So, can I ask, So I'm really interested if there is there was a possibility uh, that this maybe uh, had a kind of premiere, Croatian premiere or the German premiere of the movie after the big one. I'm I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. As long as you pay for my air flight, I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> and bring my kids. <laughs> then I'll have to go. I think I think yeah. It's not Thank you very much. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, thank you very much. We're going to take you on a tour of the set uh, for those who are interested. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you all for very coming. Very thank you for coming. Um, I'm going to take you to the dock. Thank you for doing that. That's easily. Thank you. Brett? Okay. okay, director. Director, I want to thank you for coming to the Bromic and to have this beautiful shooting. It's a pleasure. Uh, and I'm shooting too. Yeah, no, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Looking for a job. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can see this. I'm, I'm well known in this circles of 360 people. I saw it. Is that, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. You saw all was of that, it. Was that the noise, that, the click? Was that you taking a picture? Digging? Yes, maybe. Digging? Maybe. Okay, cool. It was self-time. I take a video and many things.